hello guys you're welcome back to my channel today we're going to create the popular freeze frame sequence effect in adobe premiere pro cc so over here in my timeline i've got this clip of a lady jogging past the screen so we need to scroll through the timeline to find the points for our freeze frames in this case i've already placed markers on my clips here so to do this all you need to do is to move your play here to the point where you want to add your marker and hit m on your keyboard and your marker will automatically be created Next, you need to create screenshots for each of the positions by selecting the camera icon over here. Set your format to PNG and then enable import into project and hit OK. And you'll notice a new screenshot has been added to your project panel over here. Now drag your screenshot onto your timeline and stretch the length to reach the entire length of your clip. Now select your screenshot, right click and disable it. So you are going to deselect this enable option over here. Next, you want to move over to the next freeze frame here, create another screenshot, import your screenshot onto your timeline once again, increase the duration, select it and disable it, move over to your next position, create another screenshot, import your snapshot onto your timeline, disable your snapshot, move over to your next freeze frame and repeat the same process. Disable your snapshot, move over to the next screenshot, create a new snapshot, import onto your timeline and once again right click and disable your screenshot. Now what you want to do is to go over to your first screenshot down here, right click on it and enable it, then right click on it again and select edit in Adobe Photoshop and this will automatically open in your Adobe Photoshop application next hit on select above here move over to edit in quick mask mode come over to the quick action and remove the background and hit on ctrl s to save now go back to premiere pro and in premiere pro you would notice that the background has been removed you can now see the lower portion and this other portion repeat the same thing for the next snapshot select it right click enable it Select it again and edit in Adobe Photoshop and quickly remove the background once again. Hit on Ctrl S to save. Move back to Premiere Pro and if we move now, you will see three layers. Select the next snapshot over here, right click and enable it. Right click again and select edit in Adobe Photoshop. Once again, you want to quickly remove the background. Move over to the next screenshot. Enable it, right click and select edit in Photoshop once again and remove the background, hit on Ctrl S to save, move over to Premiere Pro once again. Now if we move over you can see how many clips we've created, now move over to the last point over here, right click, enable and right click once more, edit in Photoshop. And remove the background and lastly hit on ctrl s to save move back to premiere pro so if i scroll through now you can see what we've created that's it for this quick tutorial i hope you liked it if you did please give it a like and also subscribe to my channel thank you guys and see you in the next video